What's up everybody? It's September 9th, 2024. This is an update on the line fire and we just got evacuated. I can't believe it in Big Bear. I think it, 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 it's, it's one of those preliminary, but here's the lake right here, guys. And that's looking over towards the fire. That is so nasty. I mean, that is so bad. You can't see anything out there. So we're just gonna do a quick update. Um, yeah, it says evacuations in the Big Bear Valley from the dam all the way to Cactus Drive. And Cactus Drive is like the complete opposite side of town from where the uh, dam is. So uh, clearly that leads me to believe that the whole entire town is under an evacuation order. Again, I, I don't really understand it much. Um, I think it, it's just saying, okay, now it would be safe for us to tell you guys to go ahead and evacuate. There's nothing that says mandatory or you have to. Unfortunately, I'm gonna stay as long as I possibly can. Um, because you're you're gonna get some shady people who are gonna be trying to rob rob houses and stuff and uh, I'll be completely locked and loaded Watering down the outside of our house and our next-door neighbor's house because he is at home um, But yeah, I, I just uh, some people see opportunity during these times and uh, um, Yeah, it's So messed up that people will take advantage of others like that. But yeah, look at this. This is looking towards snow, uh, snow summit. You can't even see it. And as you guys know, snow summit, it's, it's just right there. But again, I'm just being hopeful, thinking that it's an evacuation because of all the smoke. Because a lot of people have really bad issues breathing in smoke with asthma and, and other, you know, respiratory issues. So. I just really hope that uh, that's all it is. But then a good friend of mine, her older brother has been working for the forest service, doing the fire stuff for years and years and years. And uh, he was saying, you know, there, there, there is a chance by, by tomorrow night, the fire could reach the dam. And I mean, because we got a couple windy days coming in and that is not, not good. So, um, just keep us all in your prayers, you guys. We're ready to go, but as I said, I'm 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 gonna go at the last minute if I have to. I'm gonna just send my wife with the pets, and then I'll get the heck out of here when I have to. I know. I know our lives are more important than protecting property and and stuff like that, but that's just what I feel like I have to do. And then maybe all the shooting range practice will come in handy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, I don't want that to happen. But there are gonna be those types of people. Okay, so we are going to go over to one of my little favorite spots to take a decent look around the town we went there in one of the previous videos but yeah it's it's it is so nasty out here we've got a couple air purifiers going in my house right now <laughs> our windows are so thin and it's just an old built house so I mean it's it's it's, it's rough but I think we've done a really good job of uh, maintaining as little smoke inside as possible. So we're gonna go back across Stanfield Cutoff, and then as I said, we're gonna go over to that little area behind Vaughn's. And then maybe even drive up to that spot at the top 
<laughs> or as high as you can go next to Bear Mountain to get that crazy view of the whole whole valley. But yeah, that's uh, that's where the fire would be coming in from right there. And this is the other side of town. It's just the whole thing's nasty. This morning and early afternoon, it it was beautiful, beautiful blue skies, but then the wind shifted and caused this. All of our vehicles are all full. We just filled them all up. <clears throat> the lines to these gas stations are getting pretty crazy. Like as you can see straight ahead, all these people stopped on the other side of the stoplight. That's for gas. <sighs> can go buddy goes right in front of traffic. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry about that. That was a, that was an issue I had to take care of when I saw the guy real quick. <laughs> oh, good old bear. All right, so sorry about that little detour. We went in one driveway, out the other, but we are at the location that I was planning on uh, getting a, at least I hope a decent look from northeast south and west it's, it's not going to be that crazy but it's it's right here so that's kind of out towards the dam and fawn skin out there i'm just gonna hop out for a quick second oh my gosh this is this just sucks you guys and then just just losing my dad it's like like come on let me grieve god let me grieve man all right, so this is, that's looking out towards like uh, um, Holcomb Valley over those hills right there. They're probably safe. But yeah, this is just nasty. And then that's Baldwin area. And coming back around, that would be Bear Mountain right there. You can't see it. And that is Snow Summit. You can see some of the, some of the runs right there the ski runs if this fire gets any closer i'm gonna have the runs oh my gosh so yeah this is just an update as i said um evacuation order has been put in place for the, uh, the big bear dam all the way to uh to cactus road and cactus road is complete other side of town so it's the whole entire town everything and uh i don't know if, if i mentioned but a good friend's older sibling told, said that uh, this fire could get to our to the dam by uh, tomorrow night. So just just be you know anyone up here, be super careful and get out of here if you need to. Save your lungs and uh, thank you guys for for being here. I hope this is helpful. Again, this is like Armageddon looking out here. This is really scary.
You guys take care of yourselves, and I promise I'll be safe.